<laughs> yeah, people have done whippets here. Like that. <laughs> Um, I recently just uh, I broke my, my cell phone, which is uh, a near-death experience, basically. Um, it's got spider webs or cracks all over the screen. And I, I, like every male human being that I know, use their phone for porn. <laughs> so it's really difficult lately because it's like I'm jerking off to a mosaic. <laughs> um, it's pretty tough. <laughs> I um, I worked with a guy, or actually I still work with a guy, he's not here so fuck him, I'm gonna tell the joke, uh, for over the last year and a half, and the only way that I can describe this fella is that on the day that he came in to start work for the first time, he took a long, hard look at himself in the mirror and said, uh, you know what I've just got way too much of? Fucking teeth. <laughs> the guy's missing his top four front teeth, which to me suggests drug use. So already he's captain great decisions. And uh, I remember the day my boss brought him over to my area and he said, Hey, uh, so Patrick, this is fucking means not here. Ralph, so uh, he's going to be working this. And uh, the guy reached out his hand to shake mine. And have you ever seen Jurassic Park? Well, there's a scene in the beginning where Dr. Grant is trying to scare this little kid. And he's talking about velociraptors. He's got that big claw in his hand. Well, this guy reached out a handful of those fucking things at me. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, all right, let's pound it out. Cool. Yeah. And uh, besides all of that, he uh, has hair that would be like <coughs> Doc Brown from Back to the Future. <laughs> and I half expect any time he looks at me for him to say whatever it is in the voice of an 1880s Old West prospector. <laughs> and uh, just, well, I was having some trouble getting going in the morning. So I said to myself, let's give this methamphetamines a shot. That's a hunger. <laughs> and, uh, and my company, for whatever strange reason, decided to hire him on, even with all those red flags waving in the wind like a two man outside of a car dealership. He, uh, so he decided it's, it's time, I gotta go and buy a new vehicle, gotta make sure I can get to work on time. And did he go out and buy a fuel efficient economy vehicle? No, he bought a brand new 2014 Camaro. What about your fucking teeth? You can't eat with a Camaro. <laughs> um, so like I said before, I really like porn. <laughs> and um, I, I really like the, the parodies that, that porn films do, and I wondered if they've ever gone so far as to parody children's movies. <laughs> with adults, you fucking sickos. Come on. I think that would be great because I love wordplay and I think we get some really cool titles out of it. Um, like The Little Spermaid, uh, Ain't Aladdin, <laughs> Finding Nympho, Horny uh, with a Chance to See Balls. <laughs> uh, my personal favorite is just kind of a mashup, it has nothing to do with the context of either movie. But um, How to Run a Train on a Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. <laughs> It's a little dark, I'm sorry. Um, and then, of course, you have other <laughs> films that you don't need to change the name. You could just put it out there. Toy Story. <laughs> um, Big Hero 6. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know if they thought about that one. But thank you guys so much for laughing and listening. <laughs> Uh, give it up for Patrick, guys. That was great. Uh, I love the old time and cross country boys. I kind of want to get him to read the rules like that the guy does before you get on Splash Mountain. 